Hey, B's and G's. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. This is my Arrogant Bastard clone. Arrogant Bastard. Ah, cheers, guys. So, what had happened with me today? So, I got home from work. I stopped at a bottle shop and got some beers. I got four beers. I got a um, 22-ounce bottle of Enjoy Buy. 22 ounce bottle of sorry, not sorry IPA, another stone IPA, and I got uh, Tank 7 by Boulevard, um, the um, farmhouse ale, and I got a local brewery's um, triple IPA called Trippa. And what I did when I got to the house, I dropped the bottles. So um, F words were heard uh, throughout the world at that point, probably. Um, just the bombers broke, everything else is safe and sound, so that's in the refrigerator. But, um, then my oldest writes me a note, so I'm going to put that clip in here. Alright, so let's talk about me. What have I done, other than break some beers, waste some money? Um, I brewed Wednesday. I brewed on a homebrew Wednesday. I did my black IPA. Um different recipe, all that good stuff, everything turned out great. Um, had a little issue, I had some problem with my equipment, which I've got, I think I've got a video, I may not have a video, I may have a video, I don't know. Let's turn this way, get a little better lighting. Um, I definitely got a picture of it, but anyway, one of the electrical lines in my cable that connects the sensor to my PID um, broke off, so I got it. Got it soldered, everything works fine, but I just didn't have time to do it Wednesday. Didn't want to make time, you know, I was busy. I had to nurse my flame, but everything turned out great. The uh, mash ton held temperature pretty good, I can't complain. Um, so that's still in primary. Um, I got some video of uh, what I found Thursday morning when I woke up. Um, just a few seconds of uh, video. Um, Oh, one thing I guess I should stand up for um, is this stuff I got on Black, the Black Friday. So this is hose, enough hose for me to redo my four lines. So right now they're 36 inches, so I, I'm going to increase them to 3 feet 6 inches each. So there's, let's see, 14 feet in there, right? So I got all that, and I got those plugs um, those plugs were on sale for a dollar a piece. And I know you can find them for about a buck a piece um, when they're not on sale in different places. But this, I got two of these. These are eight gallon fermenters. This is currently plugged, but it's there in case I want to use it as a bottling bucket. Eight gallon fermenters, $10 a piece, two of them. That's $10 with a lid. Uh, and a lot of places were selling six and a half gallon fermenting buckets. For seven dollars, but that was without the lid. The lid was another like two fifty or two dollars and eighty cents. So, yeah, eight eight bucks. I mean, eight ten dollars for eight gallons. So, and uh, I've been needing some new buckets. The buckets that I have, my oldest bucket is four years old or so. So, um, I'm gonna get new buckets. I've got new buckets. So, and I've also I got some other little odds and ends. Monday or Sunday night, Monday, I can't remember, but just little odds and ends stuff. I got it keg outlet, so that stuff will be that stuff will be coming. Um, so let's see, it's really really about all I got instead of the clips. Um, you know, you can see the shirt I got on, so you guys probably understand what. Kind of thinking about a little bit, um, but um, I'm gonna probably throw in a clip after I do my other stuff and uh, kind of do a little tribute to Paul, um, a guy that I think we all all thought a lot of and uh, you know greatly miss. Um, but um, I, I don't know. I can't. I don't script anything, obviously, but. There's, I feel like I'm, I need to talk about something, and I'm not talking about it. But um, let's see. Talked about my brew day, Wednesday. Um, talked about that. My numbers were good. Everything turned out great. 
Um, let's see. I got Christmas tree up this past Saturday. Um, I think that's it. Um, I'm sure they'll think of something. But anyway, we're going to go to these clips and uh, you guys will look at my brew day and look at all this other stuff that I've done over the last few days. Oh, one thing I did do. I got a bottle of uh, Cezanne DuPont at my bottle shop because some guy said it's a really great Cezanne. And it is a really great Cezanne. But one thing I did, I kept the dregs. So I'm trying to grow the dregs as we speak. And um, hopefully... That turns out um, because I mean, Saison's is something that I haven't really been into, but something that I'm getting into, and I bought one today. So um, let's see. Hopefully, maybe Wall can brew a Saison at some point uh, soon. Uh, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta quit drinking so much. Not that I'm drunk all the time, but just a bunch of calories. Um, I think you guys all agree and know what I'm going. You know where I'm going with all that. But let's see. We'll go ahead and we're gonna. Put up with some more shy camera work, and I'm gonna say, uh, ah, cheers, guys. I'll be back at you in a minute. All right, let's see. You guys hear me right now? I'm heating up some my uh, sparge water. I've got my mash running, recirculating, and dark. It's almost, uh, well, I, I took a little sample out and it's, uh, it's a real dark brown, but we'll see what happens after it boils. And, you know, it's definitely in the black IPA range, so that's what it is, black IPA. So, you can see I do not have my rims tube today. It took a poop. I think I've got some cable issues because I can't see this is how keep the temperature. Champ. Very, very little nursing on my, on my part. Turn that off so we can talk. Um, I can't. I hooked everything up and I couldn't. I just got an error all over my readout telling me what the temperature was. So uh, I started messing with it. I took the probe apart. And probes looks to be fine to me. I tried to check continuity. In the cable, and I've only got continuity in one out of, th one out of the three lines, so I don't know if it's broke or what, or if it needs to need to take it apart and uh, check it and see if it's come apart at the at the ends. I don't know. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, really don't have time or patience to do it right now. But the uh, mash is actually working pretty well. That's why I've never never gotten rid of that burner down there. So. I can turn on a real small flame, let it recirculate. Everything's great, everything's fine. Um, but let's see. That's why I really haven't taken a whole lot of footage today. It's been, it's been one of those days where I've just been on kind of on my toes the whole entire time watching and kind of make sure everything's fine. Um, so my mash pH is fine. I got really. Considering it's 30, 33 degrees outside, I can't can't really complain. I'm in shorts in a t-shirt, but uh, sun's starting to come out, starting to warm up in the garage a little bit. But um, it's kind of where I'm at. Been out here since uh, a little after seven, so hopefully I'm done. Not too not too long after say one ish or so. That'd be awesome. So, I might get some more video. I don't know. I got, I got a sheet ton of hops to put in there. Big old uh, 15 minute edition, and my biggest edition's at Flame Out with a, with a nice whirlpool. So, should be pretty good. Hopefully, 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 that's two words ran together. Um, it really pulls a lot of hop out of that. Yeah. Get a little more hot presence out of it than the last black IPA I made, but yeah, it's beer. I'm gonna do what I want and uh, see how it turns out. Experiment, right? But um, 
It should be a good one. Right now the wort tastes good. Um, it's got some roast into it, but it's not going to be overpowering. But then again, you never know what's going to happen after it boils. It's only got it's only got six ounces of dark green. Um, it's got three ounces of Carafa three, which is just straight Carafa three. It's not the Carafa special. Then it's got uh, three ounces of black. Um, so I'm trying to get some roast out of that at you know minimal amount of dark greens. Uh, and try to get some roast. I'm not trying to get a whole lot of roast, just a little bit of roast. Um, so it's not really, I think the last recipe I had had, I think there was six ounces of uh, chocolate and I think six ounces of uh, Carafa 3. So I've basically cut my grains in half, my dark grains in half, and um, we'll see how it all turns out. But I've also changed my hops a little bit. I'm going for a lot more mosaic this time, trying to really pull that, that berry flavor out. So I'm going to put blueberries in this. So hopefully all these marry well, play well, all this good stuff, everything's fine. Hunky dory. Okay. I'm going to cut out of here and um, enjoy some quiet time. Since the kids are at school, the wife's at work, I'm all by myself. See you guys. There's the hops. Stinking. It smells awesome in here. I can smell these damn things all the way over the, uh, the workbench. But let's see here. Let's go through them. First wort is is uh, 0.42 ounces of topaz. Then um, I've got 0.78 ounces. Actually, these these aren't exactly what's in there. Um, I had to adjust according to what I had on hand. But, well, I've got them scratched out and scribbled, whatever. But, um, so 0.78 of Galena at 60. Then I don't have shit until 15, which is another almost ounce of topaz. Then, after that, I've got 1.86 ounces of Galaxy and 1.925 of Mosaic at Whirlpool. So, pretty aromatic. It's pretty. You can smell it in the whole entire stinking garage. Hopefully, it stays that way. Just thought I'd share. All right, guys, this is uh, the sample I pulled when I was switching my hoses around. This is uh, like basically say a little bit of first runnings. Um, it's dark, sweet, pretty roasty. You kind of get a little bit of real dark brown kind of when you get a little bit of light in it, but it's so muck murky right now because of the and all the grains and whatnot, but um, this is it, I'm sparging. Believe it or not, today has been an exceptionally easy day considering the issue that I had with my cable. But yeah, it's a, been an awesome day today. Can't complain. Um, I'm gonna get on the sparging. In, uh, it's about, it's about 9.30 in the morning right now, so I should be done within another uh, two hours, two and a half hours or so by the time you clean up and get everything put back in place and uh, call it a day. All right, guys, cheers. So after taking that apart, come on, go this way. You see I've got a wire on one side that's off, so I need to, uh, need to remedy that and fix that sucker. I haven't opened the other side yet, but we'll see. See what happens, see if I can fix it. Six in the morning, Thursday. Pretty active. Pretty active. That's good. Well, this is again while I while I uh, ferment in the bathtub. Boom. All right, guys. Um, so this comes the Debbie Downer part of what I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, you can see, you know, you can see what is kind of bugging me, bugging a lot of people. Um, I got up Sunday morning, um, you know, after having good holidays with the kids and the wife and all that stuff, and, and I read a post that said, uh, um, 
Paul is no longer with us, so he didn't, he didn't quite he didn't quite know what to think. I think I was in shock, like a lot of people was. Um, the guy that meant so many to so many, meant so much to so many people. Um, and I personally have never met the guy, um, but you know, he's always one of those guys that you always look forward to seeing videos from. You know, notifications were always great. You know, he always got excited. When the uh, theme music started, all his intro, all that stuff, it was, it was stuff that you know, was really great. A lot of people look forward to it, me especially. Um, he and I never really talked, but we exchanged comments and on our videos and uh, kind of went that part. But, you know, um, I, you know, how can you express words of what you're feeling right now? You know, I've never met the guy, but, you know, I, I, I'm deeply saddened. Um, you know, there's a lot of care there, but um, the guy had a huge personality, just a huge personality. You know, you could, you could tell. It, it, it was just there all the time. You know, if he didn't have such a huge personality, he wouldn't have so many subs, and you, you wouldn't watch his videos all the time. Um, the guy was a brewer. He wasn't, you know, a homebrew hack like me. You know, I, I throw a recipe together. Or I'll get a recipe from somebody else and I'll make the beer and it turns out good. I'm not, you know, it, it, but it's not, I don't always understand the science, the hows and the whys, but Paul did. Paul knew this, the hows and the whys. There was a deeper understanding there and uh, you don't get that a lot. That's not a common thing between all of us in the Bluetooth community. Um, and it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks bad. Um, it's just gone too soon. There's so much. That, uh, you know, there's so much left un un left that we could have done um, and that we, I guess, can do as a community. But um, I'm rambling and I'm totally doing this off the cuff. And uh, um, what do you do? What do you say? Um, you know, it's a guy that I think 99.9% .9 of us looked up to. I always kind of put him up on a, I put him up on a pedestal. This was, this was the guy that, you know, I think the majority of us aspired to be, and that's you know I wanted to be a Paul Wixby. I that's that's the kind of brewer that I would wanted to be when I grow up. But you know you got that guy. He's all over everywhere. You know, YouTube, um, Homebrewers Association, um, God, just where in the hell is I going? But you got it, it, homebrew, and, it, and he was there, right? You can't you can't stop you can. Type his, Google his name. He's just all over the place. Um, and it's all homebrew related or beer related with local breweries in his, his part of the country. So, but, you know, that's a wonderful thing because you don't have, you've got, uh, you know, John Palmer's and the, the um, Jordan Strong's, the Charlie Papazian's, which I'm not going to take anything away from what those guys have done for what we do. But those guys aren't on YouTube every week or I know, I know. He hasn't been on as, as much as he used to be, but still, the point is that he is such a, a a presence in the homebrew community, home brewing community, that you can't you can't you can't go anywhere without somebody knowing who Paul Wixby is or time for another one is. Um, it's a it's an awesome thing. Um, the guy was deeply cared for by a lot of people, um, but. Um, can you do what can you say at this point right um you know i hope his family i, I wish them the best um i've got small children and he's got a you know he's got a child his son's probably about the same age as my oldest so you know i i couldn't imagine um what's going on in that house for right now um i'm sure i know he's in a better place i know he's where he, he he's, there was a greater force needing him at this point in time. I'm not a religious person by any means, but, you know, the sun and the moon and the stars, something was going on there and something had to happen. And, you know, it's a shame for the rest of us. But, you know, somebody else has a much brighter person with them now. So I'm going to leave it at that. So cheers, guys. Have yourself another one. <sighs>